You know what? It's uh, it's something I've done before. Not for not for this cause, not for prostate cancer. But uh, my last year at school, we did uh, we instead of playoff beards, our team went with playoff mustaches. So I do have a little bit of experience growing a mustache, but. I mean, it's uh, at the same time, it's not something you can really prepare for. It's going to be embarrassing the whole month. Feeling good about my stash thus far, so you know, hopefully, I can uh, keep the muzzy going and uh, you know, have one of the better mustaches by the end of this thing. Uh, it's not too, uh, it's not too bad. I think uh, we got we got called cheater. I think uh, Gags uh, misexplained the rules. I thought the, I think the rules are you're supposed to be clean shaven at first, but uh, I think we let it grow for a couple of days before that, so we're. We got a head start, but it's so far so good. I uh, used it as it goes, you know. Uh, you know, I started from scratch here, right down to the, the bare bone there on uh, November 1st, and uh, you know, you'll see it as it comes. I shaved, you know, not too long ago, and it's gonna be a couple weeks till you probably even notice something. So I might have to dress for a minute sometime. <laughs> Every time I shave and get older, it gets a little bit more red every time, so it's not much I can do, but I threw a little bit of Just For Men medium brown in there to try to cancel it out, but it's, uh, it's, it's tough to do. Because I don't have a blonde hair in my body other than uh, my mustache, so I may have to get some Just For Men and even it out, I think. But there's like little whiskers in between it, and if I want to make it full, I got to Just For Men it to just, you know, accentuate those, uh, you know, those light hairs and, and make it all look dark, so. Um, you know, you look at the best mustaches in the world, they're, they're pretty consistent all the way through, and that's, uh, that's what I'm grooming mine to be. Uh, I got a little advice from uh, Sheldon. Uh, you know, he's one of the most stylish guys on the team, I think, so he had some, uh, some uh, good advice for me, and uh, I think together we, we worked on a little, uh, uh, you know, style that I could, I could shape it into. I'm going to keep it about as traditional as I can. I think that's the best way to go. I never grew a mustache for a month before, so uh, I don't think it's going to get that long. Uh, I don't have a lot of facial hair normally, but... Uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty greasy mustache, yeah. I'm just gonna go with this, the standard boxcar mustache. Uh, I believe that if you look on the Movember website, there's different styles, and, and I went with the boxcar. So, um, you know, I, I, uh, I was thinking about going with the Fu Manchu, but I, I have bad connectors, and uh, so I think this is, my, this is my best option. It's definitely gonna go through some changes. I don't know what uh, direction I'm gonna go with it yet, but uh, see how long it gets, and... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have never really had a mustache, so it's kind of a new experience for me. Well, it's early. You know, it's it's uh, you know we're at mile one of a marathon, so we really can't go too bold on predictions. But there's a lot of different mustache types. You know, you have uh, Burt Reynolds. I'm a big fan of his. Uh, Magnum PI. He probably one of the greatest mustaches of all time. Do I see any of our guys evolving that far? Mm, I don't know, maybe Chorney looks good so far. Stortini has a big beard. But there's some that are real lagging, and um, those guys is gonna be tough by, by the end of the month. Now that we've talked about it, talked to them about it, and uh, you know, I shouldn't really be talking because I'm not even doing it, but if you are gonna do it, just for men, I feel it's cheating, you have to be all natural. <laughs> and uh, let's see what you really got. Because I feel like the mustache is perhaps at an all-time low in popularity. Um, you don't see a lot of people rocking the mustaches as much as they used to. Um, now it's starting to maybe make a comeback, but I think we're definitely at the bottom of a, of a trough here. And uh, you know, when you walk around the mustache, people definitely look at you twice, especially when it gets really big. And maybe there's a marshmallow in there or something, it definitely opens a few eyes.